Barney said you were on the way. We got split up by snipers, and he's pinned down in a warehouse up ahead. Go ahead. He's relying on you. What's going on, everybody? This is the Dog and Yard, bringing you episode 44 of Let's Fail at Half-Life 2. Now, as you may be able to notice from the quality of my voice, I've got a new microphone. Uh, I finally got rid of the 10-year-old piece of junk stand-up, and I've got a proper gaming headset. So, hopefully, sound quality's a lot better. Um... I think I've been struggling to configure the damn thing, so please let me know if it's working out, if it sounds better. Um, I'm pretty sure it sounds okay. Um, I've done a bunch of tests of it. Um, so yeah, please let me know what you think. If it sounds better or worse, the same as the old one, I'd be happy to hear your opinions. Alright, so we are being targeted by this sniper. He already killed that woman who is... I don't know why he wasn't shooting at her before, but yeah. So the best thing to do with snipers is hold out some kind of object to them, or let them wait until they shoot, uh, and then while they're reloading, you can uh, run to the next piece of cover. It doesn't always work, sometimes they reload really fast, um, but usually it's decent. Okay. Got that sign swinging. Get out of my way. Oh, that's just perfect. Now there's two of them. Uh, this is the worst possible spot to be. Actually, I guess behind that truck probably is the worst possible spot to be. Oh, got hit. Worst possible spot to be in. Okay, so the only way to take out snipers is with grenades. Yeah, I'm getting down. You get down, buddy. He didn't get down. And, um, yes, you have to get quite close to them, um, which can be difficult, because then they'll shoot at you a lot of the time, um, and get a grenade perfectly into there. But it's very satisfying when you get one of them, for obvious reasons. Um, okay, now off to get the other sniper. Got my grenade back. Oh, yeah, there he is. There's my buddy. He dead. So, where's that other sniper? Sniper? Oh, oh, oh. Sniper? Sniper? Okay, once he shoots, I can get across to that cover. Watch out! Oh, oh man, that was close to my head. You actually saw the bullet flash by there. Crazy. Come on, sniper, shoot. I'm ready. Just shoot. Okay. Good. Oh, head grab. Another one behind that wall there. Mm, probably can't get the sniper now, I'm too far away. Oh well. Maybe I'll be able to get him later. Uh oh. Head crabs and ominous music and blood stains everywhere. Not uh, the best combination. Um I don't see any dead bodies, but there's a lot of blood. Um definitely Valve likes to use the Oh, head grab. Oh, that sounds like a fast zombie. Yep, yeah, it's a fast zombie. But he did, so it's okay. Yes, definitely Valve likes the atmospheric stuff. Uh, the whole chapter of Ravenholm is a great example of that. Um, okay, if there are bloodstains, why wasn't the person who was bleeding heavily picking up those medkits? Hi, I'm up here. Don't really feel like going down here, but doesn't seem to be any other way. Help me. Okay, I'm coming. Help! Help me! We thought we'd be safer down here. here. Little window, the place was in. The rest of them, the rest of them headed upstairs. They, they took their chances with the snipers. I guess they're still up there. Uh-oh. The zombies. Now, this is the weird thing. They say they ran away from the zombies. Why didn't they just shoot them? Like... And, um... Just like that, their infestation is dealt with? So did not one of them have a gun? I mean, they're rebels, they're supposed to have guns. That's kind of the point. Uh, you can't rebel against too much unless you have a firearm of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps they ran out of bullets. Whoa, dear. More fast zombies. Okay, now, here's another question. 
if there were fast zombies blocking the stairs, how did they get up to take their chances with the snipers? Uh, I can't imagine they went through these doors. They were locked from the other side. Sniper? Ooh, zombies. Oh, oh man. Yes, snipers are very accurate. Except when they miss like that. Okay. Another miss. He's like missing every other shot. Will he get this one? Oh, he's on a streak. What about this one? Ah, uh, no. Broke his streak at two. Still, not bad shot. And he'll do the same to me if I let him. Get a grenade out. Find that guy. Prime the grenade. There he is. I'm trying to get him to shoot at me, but I don't think he does. Eh, it didn't work. Didn't hear him. I swear. <laughs> okay, get across to that ruined wall. Maybe I'll get a better shot at him. Prime a grenade. I really hate the lobbing mechanics in Half-Life 2. I just bounced it off the bit of wall. <laughs> there we go. Another sniper? Ooh, hey Barney! You doesn't look too happy. Guess he doesn't have any grenades, even though there's a box of them right here. I don't know about you, Barney, but I could jump down a floor like this without taking any damage, so... I don't really know that you've got much of an excuse. Hi. Gordon, I can't move. These snipers got me pinned down. Gordon, lob a couple grenades. That'll clear them out. It's kind of what I've been doing, you know? But, you know, you that whatever. If you don't have any grenades, I guess I'll go save you. You're pretty important, being one of the leaders of the rebellion and all. Pretty important job. Oh, nice shot. Ah, misses. They're both aiming at the same bird. Another more, more misses. Oh, got one. And then they disappeared into the skybox. Okay. Wild birds are very difficult things to hit, especially when they're stuck in the ground. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Especially when the snipers are shooting at me instead of it. That makes it especially tricky to hit. What the hell? Now, I remember seeing that in Ravenholm as well. Except, I think there it was actually even floating in the air. Whoa! Those are high caliber rounds. Damn, that citadel's looking mighty big. Got my shield. I don't think this will work too well. Oh, what? Why did I drop that? See, I recorded this a couple weeks ago, so occasionally it's like, why did I do this? What's the stupid thing to do? Like right here, this whole... Why would I move to this cover? There's a sniper right there. There, now I'm kind of getting low on health. Okay, got a grenade. Oh, nice shot. Wow. That was impressive. Aw, oh, he aimed under the cabinet. Bastard. Not a lot. Okay. Different plan. Need a different plan. This obviously, the gravity gun obviously cannot outperform a high powered sniper rifle. So, back to this cover. Now, this cover is safe because there's no sniper there. Since I killed him. You can still hear that bird flapping. Why would they even need to have sounds of birds flapping. I mean, the birds normally are there, at least they're supposed to fly off. So you wouldn't be able to hear them anyway. Oh dear. See, if you hadn't squeaked at me like that, and you just leapt right away, you would have done some damage. In fact, that was one of the poison ones, but it got me down to one health. And then if I'd freaked out and backed out of the place, the sniper would have killed me. Steady, steady. Make the long shot. Nope. I got three more grenades. I don't know, I don't even remember what I do here. Um yes. 
Hopefully something intelligent. Oh, energy rifle. Let's see if these energy balls can take them out. Nope. Can't. That's a shame. Just waste. Oh well, you said now I know I can't use them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take out these snipers, would you? Well, that about wraps it up for this week's episode. The grenades, uh, Gordon. Shut up. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it. Um, so, and please right, let me know thanks, what you think man. of my new microphone. Now let's clear out of here. Um, I, and until next week. Shut up! <laughs> um, until next week, see ya.